Hey guys, it's Kathleen back with another Thrift With Me video. We've got a bunch of yard sales on the docket for today, including one subdivision wide yard sale, which I have a love hate relationship with. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it stinks. We're just going to give it a roll of the dice because it's a high end subdivision. So we're gonna give it a shot. But first I'm making two stops at two other yard sales that show promise. One of them has got listed a bunch of new with tags, North Face and Patagonia. That sometimes that means to me that, you know, they're gonna be selling them for like 50% off the, off the tag price, which is great if you're looking for a new North Face, but not so great if you're looking to flip it online. If you're new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller and a full-time school counselor, and I troll yard sales and estate sales looking for undervalued stuff to pick up cheap and flip for a profit. So if you like that kind of content, hit the subscribe button down below. All right, guys, let's go. How much for these? There's a box of them. Oh, okay. It's right down here. Oh, the blue glass? Mm-hmm. They're um, 20 bucks for the... There's uh, nine large ones and six small ones. Okay, I'm gonna think on that. They're pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do the glasses. Yay. These actually were my what of them. My uh, wedding. Were uh, they? Glasses. Yeah. Oh wow. Because that that was many many years ago. That was back in the early seventies. Sure. All right, guys. The last thing I needed is more breakables to list, but these are Noritake. And they're super vintage from Japan. And they have their stickers on them. When I looked at the comps real quick, they seem to move okay. So what I just have to figure out is whether to part them out. All right. On to the next one, which is right next door. slave to Oneida, but it's Oneida home for two bucks and then three dollars for a hundred percent cashmere Cynthia Rowley. Worth a stab even though it's super pilly. Oh for the love of Jesus. Now I held that up to the light and didn't see any holes. That's on me. <clears throat> Is 
Is this 35 for the whole bag? No, it's 35 pieces. Okay. Um, you, uh, um, maybe $10 for the whole bag. Okay. This is for Emma, but these, I love picking up things like these. You just list them once, multi-quantity, and they fly off the shelves. You know, in theory. Ooh. Excuse me. I'm gonna take this hose, so I'm just gonna leave it here. Okay, well that's super sucky. Somebody stole my hose. Alright, I got these for my husband. Not much at this sale, but everything was a dollar. So, new with tags, Bowden, and they are all plus sizes. This was a wool blend anthro. I don't really pick up a lot of anthro anymore, but size 2X. This was my favorite pickup for a dollar. Notori jammies. I don't know. They're 100% polyester, but Notori moves for me. It's like a, um, a spa brand. And then y'all know I love picking up toiletries. Oh, actually, I use this shampoo, so this is mine, because I didn't care that it was somewhat used. This is new, and this is brand new. So, not bad. that's cute. Right answer. 
this you would like. Cute. Well, I don't really know how much you would have. Let me ask her. This one I know you would have. They have a nice plant here. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to look at some other things that I thought maybe you would. You need to switch places. <laughs> you go right ahead. Yes, ma'am. Hold on, sis. I'm looking at this black blog because it's just cute. But it's long. See, it's just cute, though. Oh, that is sweet. It's a J. Jill. J. Crew Nordic. It's so cute. I need to be having a pair. I got too many nice name brand clothes to be out here. Real fine clothes. Go to my house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am so busy. <laughs> oh my goodness. The gray jacket. She's looking at it. Uh huh. That's that's nice though. Oh, she's holding. <laughs> she's holding. It. Are you, Online. Are, are you doing Are you going to, what you going to do, Sis Queenie? You got to make up, you got to talk fast. <laughs> Extra large. Three. Yes. And it's, it's, they're all name brand. You know, they have to see the back. Oh, Miss I'm sure you do, because I should have got it too, but I'm not that type person. You know, when you know, if you want it, I want you to have it. What other gray? You come out for the come out for the winter. Yeah, it's nice, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. It's gonna be a little warm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's a nice though. This dress is nice. I would. I think most a lot of the clothes are gone from earlier when I came. Did she have like the um, I North? She had it last week too. She had one last week? Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. Maybe I'm oh okay, okay. What, 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 you want what now? That's cute. That's not for me, but I mean, you wear these type clothes. Oh, okay. And it's brand new, yeah. So that's five. Okay, so this one was three. Okay, thank you, sir. This one was three. Oh Lord, have mercy on the trouble. So you just um, eight dollars. That's, that's eight here. So you just ten dollars. So I'm gonna go get the other. Uh, Okay, guys, we are back with the thrift haul portion of this video. This is from one yard sale. And for everything that I show you, I paid only $60. So I think I did really, really well. I got a bunch of toiletries. So I'm going to start with those. This I think is for personal use. This is just Dove conditioner, um, brand new in the bottle, but I love having a nice pump conditioner. And then I picked up two of these. Now I threw a ton of, um, her toiletries in my bag and then I started going through them to make sure that they were new and not all of them are new and I'm just not picking up anything that's used anymore it's it's just it's nasty so these I have to look up the um comps on these but this is a an overnight sleep mask and like I said anything that's nighttime that's facial or that is eyes I love to pick up because they seem to move 
This will probably only sell for about eight bucks, but it is new and sealed in the plastic. I got Karenique volumizing spray. Again, it's got still got the plastic, so I don't mind selling it, and it does not have an expiration date. This is color corrector serum. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but it is crap. Not new, so it's going in the trash. Disgusting. Okay, whoops. I thought I checked them all. This one I did check and it is still sealed in, pack in plastic inside. This just seemed to do okay. I couldn't really find a comp on this. I did find some other items that were listed that are the same brand, but I couldn't find that exact. So, but I paid maybe 50 cents tops a dollar because she did do me a bundle deal for all of this stuff. And then I love Laura Geller, so this is for me, but it's a really pretty shade. Okay. I did get a bunch of clothing at this sale and a bunch of sheets. First thing I got were these shoes. Fly London just always sells for me. These still have the size on them, which helps the size tag. They are a size European 38. They are in really good condition. The only issue is in the front here, but I will just disclose that. But these still, I think, have a lot of life left in them and they were worth picking up for just a couple of dollars. Then she had tons of Pottery Barn sheets and accessories. So I got two of these shams. Now, there are a couple of issues, as you can see here. There's some places where it's popping up, and so I'm just going to stitch it right back down. Um, and, that sh and I'll disclose that, of course, but um, Pottery Barn stuff, particularly shams and things like that, they move for me. I mean, and this particular style, it's not like they're making it anymore. Um, and this one doesn't seem to have any that are kind of hanging off. So, um, haven't looked at the comps. I will flash them up there when I get them, but that was something that looked just a little bit on the unique side. Um, she had a lot of pottery barn sheets. She also had this brand new in the package for seven bucks bumpers for a baby girl however just I know from my granddaughter they do not want you using bumpers anymore they frown upon that so I did a quick comp search and there were a couple of listed none sold and that just was not worth it to me to have something like that that's kind of bulky that's going to take up some room in my inventory so I definitely passed on that all right this I picked up because it was curious George so this is a crib sheet and I did notice like the elastic is kind of, doesn't have a lot of give, but it's Curious George. And so for a couple of dollars, that was worth it to me to take a chance on that to see if that can move. This is like a princess type theme or a butterfly or something. It's super girly, but this is a full sized flat sheet by Pottery Barn Kids. Then this, I wished it had the, oh wait, this matches that. Huh, okay. So maybe I'll, I didn't realize that they were matchy matchy. I might have to lot them up. You don't really need two, two flat sheets, do you? No, I'll keep it like this. So this is one full, um, whatchamacallit, fitted sheet and one flat sheet, same pattern, the butterflies. Now she had two of these twin duvets and so maybe it was a mistake to leave the other one, I grabbed one of them and just you figured in order for me to steam it, to photograph it, all the things, it's going to take a little manipulation. And I wasn't really sure at the time how much she was going to bundle for me. And so I left the second one. Um, but I love this plaid. It gives me like Ralph Lauren type of vibes. And then the last thing are these brand new drapes or drape singular. Pottery Barn again, 50 by 96. Again, I haven't looked at the comps, but it is brand new in this beautiful, beautiful cream, like linen type of pattern. So that should definitely move. All right, and then the last couple of items are all clothing items. This I just loved. It is handmade by Deluxe. Not really familiar with it, but I, I did a quick like um, photo search on eBay. And none of the owl sold, but the other animals that they had by this brand seem to be selling used for about the $20 mark. So I figured that was a good pickup. 
This is linen soft surroundings. So not only is it linen, but it is size 2X. So as I've said before, I am throttling back on soft surroundings. However, because of the size and the fabric content on this, I thought that this was definitely worth picking up. Okay, she had a bunch of clothing that was all new with tags. So, um, and they were also all plus size. So this is, these are navy blue capris, but they are in a size 3X and they originally retailed for 98 bucks. This I picked up just because Karen had told me, oh, Peloton clothes sell. So this was only a buck and it's new without tags. I don't know if it sells, but we shall give it a shot. This is kind of like vintagey. Um, Sigrid Olsen, I don't pick up a lot, but this is new with tags, originally retail for 98 bucks. Um, it's nothing special fabric content wise, but it is a size extra large. So hoping going into the spring that will move. This is another thing that I hadn't ever seen before, J. Crew Nordic but it is in fabulous condition. It is not new with tags, um, but when I did a quick comp scan at the yard sale, these seemed to do halfway decent. Um, and so it was only a dollar because it did not have tags. So anything that didn't have tags was a dollar. Anything that does have tags was $3. Or it might've been two and three, I can't remember. And like I said, she bundled. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, I picked up another um, cardigan by Masuk and it sold in less than a week. And so this is a size medium, but it is vintage. And so I was totally, totally gonna take another chance on selling the Sook. I do not pick up adult Matilda Jane anymore. I do not, I know this. And the reason I don't is because it doesn't move, but this still had the tags on and I loved all the lacy lacy stuff, so I, you know, I saw it and I was like, ah, I'll give it a shot. I may regret that. Won't be the first time I've had regrets like that, but sometimes you've just got to go with your gut. I also really liked the pattern. I just thought it wasn't too juvenile. So hopefully, hopefully that will move. I will keep you posted. All right, here is a size 20 W Talbot's capris, <clears throat> and they are curvy capris. These are in black, I believe. Yes, these are black. And so they originally retail for 80 bucks. Another pair of Capri's 24W. And these, what were these? $65. Oh, these are shorts, my bad. So these are black shorts. And then the last item I have are, are these J. Jill or? No, these are Talbots too. And these are also shorts, also in a size 20W, also $65. So all in all for 60 bucks, I think I'm gonna do pretty good. I'm particularly excited to look into the comps for the sheets um, and for those drapes from Pottery Barn. I've had a ton of luck with Pottery Barn stuff. If you're not already picking it up, you need to nab it when you find it on the cheap at yard sales. It has a terrific sell-through rate in particular, and any type of style or thing that has been discontinued, there is such a following for Pottery Barn that it will move for you. All right, guys, that is everything for this Thrift With Me video. As always, hit the subscribe button down below if you like this kind of content, and I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.